Hi, I'm here again in Swift Pause Back Office, and in this video I'm going to be talking about discounts and surcharges. There are a few different ways that you can do discounts and surcharges, depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Um, the most common is probably a predefined discount or predefined surcharge, which is set up here in Swift Pause Back Office and then assigned to a key or set to be enabled globally. So I'm just going to walk through a few examples of how we might implement um, these discounts and surcharges. First of all I'm going to navigate to vouchers, raffles and discounts and open the discount setup screen. Now I do already have a few set up in here uh, but I'm going to ignore those for now and just set a new discount. This is the edit screen of the predefined discount. Uh, you can specify a name and you can also specify date and time filters, very similar to what we did with the mix and match rules. Um, and you can also specify a family. Now the reason that you might specify a family is if you want to apply a particular discount to just one family of item across a given period. Now this is very similar to um, what we did in the mix and match rules and we can accomplish some of the same things in either system. Um, they do overlap somewhat um, but for this example I'm going to be using the family called all which contains all of our products. I'm going to be setting a discount of 10% and I'm going to tick the box that says auto apply discount. Essentially what this is going to do is automatically apply a 10% discount to every product across the board whenever it's rung up at the pause. So I'm going to go ahead and save my changes and send that to the terminal and we'll have a look at how that works. Okay, so I've updated my terminal screen and I'm going to ring up a $3 product and you can see that that 10% discount is automatically being applied to that product. If I ring up another product another 10% discount is being applied to that product. Pretty straightforward. That would happen with every product across the board. However, if I take the tick out of auto apply discount and update my terminal, if I ring up a product, you can see that no discount is being automatically applied. So what is the purpose of having this discount set up if it's not being automatically applied? Well, we can take this predefined discount and assign it to a button on the keyboard uh, and that way the discount can be issued by a clerk at their own discretion. And I'll walk you through how to set that up now. In Connect Touch Settings and Keyboards, I'm going to open the keyboard that I'll be working on and I'm going to put the discount button right here on the cafe layout where I've been working. This is going to be a link type function and the link item is going to be discount. So there it is. Uh, now in the more settings of this discount button there are a couple of different ways that we can go about this. We could either directly specify the percentage that we want that button to do or we could use a predefined discount and choose that 10% discount that I've set up which is what I'm going to do here. And now if I take a look at my terminal screen you'll see that this discount button is here and if I ring up a product and press discount it's going to apply a discount to that product. If I ring up another product it doesn't do anything with that second item so it's really just applying that discount to that single item. Now I'm going to take a look at surcharges so in vouchers, raffles and discounts, surcharge setup, we can specify a predefined surcharge in very much the same way that we did with the discount. Now I've already got one set up here called public holiday, so I'm going to edit that and we'll take a look at what's set up in here. First of all you've got the name and you've also got the family. This is currently set to the family called all. And the third component here is the assigned PLU this is a system PLU which has been set up previously. Um, it's really just used for something that the software can attribute the surcharge value to. 
if um, if there is not a surcharge system PLU created you can create one using products and product records and assigning it to a system um, category and group I'm going to enable this surcharge and we can see that auto apply is ticked which means it's automatically going to apply this surcharge to every product that we ring up surcharge percentage is 15 percent and the date and time filters are current so I'll save those changes and send it to the terminal and if we take a look at the terminal screen when I ring up a product that surcharge is automatically being applied now that's useful for um, things like public holiday surcharges however if you want to apply this surcharge just to um, specific transactions or specific items at the clerk's dis discretion we can take the tick out of auto apply and apply that surcharge or assign that surcharge um, to a button on the keyboard in exactly the same way as we did with the discount so I'll do that now again the link type is going to be function and the link item is going to be surcharge and in the more settings options we can either choose a predefined surcharge which is what I'm going to do here or we can make a custom surcharge directly in the more settings of this button um, both methods will get you the same result um, however, um, the predefined surcharge gives you the flexibility to enable or disable that surcharge um, a little bit quicker than you can with um, an actual programmed button on the keyboard. Now I've updated my terminal. If I ring up a single um, juice product, I can apply that surcharge to that product and not have it affect any of my other products. It just applies that single surcharge one time. Now what if we wanted to uh, apply a discount or a surcharge to a transaction subtotal, that is every product um, in that transaction, but we only wanted to do it um, at the clerk's discretion. So it's not going to happen for every transaction, it's just for a, a particular transaction. I'll show you how to do that now by navigating back to the discount setup and checking the box that says apply discount as sale discount save my changes and now if we take a look at the terminal I can ring up multiple items press discount and that discount um, is applied to the entire subtotal uh, of the transaction so those are a few different ways that you can set up a discount or a surcharge um, and either have them apply to a single item to um, an entire transaction or have them automatically apply whenever an item is rung up. Um, and you'll want to use those for different reasons. Like I said, um, public holiday surcharges might apply, apply across the board um, or you might have a reason to um, have a button on the keyboard where a clerk can define um, whether or not a transaction is applied a, a discount. I hope that's been helpful. Um, as always, if there are any questions, go ahead and leave me a comment. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.